Uh, first of all, I want to show you some amazing pictures of uh, these dangerous, beautiful creatures. As you can see the pictures on the screen now, we cannot see them with our naked eye, but uh, they, they seem like the work of art. Mashallah. They are very beautiful. Like paintings. Yes, like the paintings. And virus, uh, viruses are magnificent creatures. They uh, only have the wisdom and they only have the key to enter the city uh, of the cell, the cell city. And uh, they can control this huge city only by using the knowledge. And uh, we witness the art of creation here because these creatures don't have consciousness as all we know, but they have the intelligence. Yes. How could it be possible? And uh, they are, as you, can, as you have seen in the pictures, they have amazing shapes. Their uh, appearance shapes are wonderful, but they are also very smart. They, they are like tiny brain boxes. And uh, I want to explain how a virus acts. When the virus enters to the city gates, I mean the cell wall, the cell membrane, uh, this virus uh, has the information, the identification card to enter the city. And uh, it is a very unique card for every kind of cell because there are many things uh, in the blood, but they cannot get into the cell if they don't have the identification card. But viruses have these cards. Yes. And they don't steal it or do they don't gain it from anywhere. They just have it from the very first moment they are created. Allah create them with these cards. And as you know, there are very different types of cells in the human body. So every virus has its special identification cards related to the specific cell. For example, the respiratory system cells, liver cells, intestinal cells, they all have different kind of keys and they have guards on the cell wall. But these viruses have the opportunity to pass through the walls without having any trouble. So this is very amazing and these identification cards are the proteins and these are the keys. And when the, cell, the virus enters the cell, it is not the only thing, the key is the uh, amazing thing. Also the things happen after the virus gets inside, the cell is very amazing. Uh, when the virus enters to the cell walls, passes the cell walls, it becomes invisible. And this is very amazing because how could that tiny creature know to travel in a city that it has ever been before? It knows every direction, it knows every road, it knows every transport system. And when it enters to the cell, to the city, every transport system, the very uh, fast speed uh, railways, everything gets under control of it, helps it to reach to the center of the cell. It's like it has a chart made uh, yes. previously, so uh, it uh, knows where to go and how to act. And it is wonderful. He, he, said, uh, he has a plan yes. how to do this and where to go. Mashallah. And Mashallah. also its plan is so amazing that the cell contains many factories, many power stations, and many systems in it, but the virus directly goes to the heart of the cell, to the DNA, to the nucleus. It does not go to the ribosomes, it does not go to the mitochondria or endoplasmic reticulum, it directly goes to the, uh, completely goes to the heart of the cell, the nucleus. Yes. And it is also very amazing because according to cell, the city, the, uh, the city is very big for the virus. But virus, as you said, knows everything because it has a plan. And when the virus reaches to the DNA, you know that nucleus is always under protection with a special second wall. Uh, the regular, the common workers cannot pass through this wall. Only the ones who has business, who have relation mm -hmm. with the DNA can reach, get through these ba boundaries. But viruses somehow like VIP very <laughs> easily pass through the nucleus. A nucleus can reach to the nuclear membrane and pass it without any trouble. They act like forgers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And uh, when the virus gets inside the nucleus, then it starts to uh, do its business. You know, there are three billion letters in the DNA and so many letters. But somehow, this tiny viruses, although, you know, the people are making the uh, gene projects, g genome projects, they're trying yes. to understand what is written in the DNA. These viruses somehow know what is written in the DNA in every kind of cell in the DNA and it knows the DNA and in these three billion letters 
it knows which letters, which genes are commonly used. Yes. Because there are many genes in the DNA, but some of them are producing protein regularly and very fast way. But some of the genes don't produce protein so regularly, so much. But commonly used genes are the ones that are used most. So the virus chooses these genes and adds its pieces, its codes, back to these genes and make the manufacturers, make the uh, uh, factories produce its proteins, its own produce, uh, its own proteins, very fastly. And when you think about it, this is very amazing because someone enters a city, don't go to the factories, don't go to the, any kind of other places, manufacturers, tailors, mm -hmm. goes directly to the heart, goes directly to the center that controls all of them and makes them produce its own proteins, makes them use everything is under its control now. And sell the city, all the guards in the city, they are unaware of it. They don't know it, that they do it. Marshall, and it Marshall. does not have guns, it does not have money, it does not even have clothes. It just have the knowledge. It just have the, the intelligence that Allah created in it. And by this way, at the end, some uh, cells burst. They explode because of the number of the viruses so much increase inside the yes. cell. And finally, they can cause very serious diseases. And uh, now I want to show you the pictures again. And I want you to think about these things while looking at these pictures now. The first picture you see is the adenovirus, it is called. And it looks like a jewel. And yes. it is very, very beautiful. Its uh, shape is called uh, icosahedral. And uh, it is the generally cause upper respiratory in, uh, infections in the children and also in adults and it has a single layered DNA in it, that's all. Yes. yes. And this DNA is enough for it to produce, uh, to, it has the keys for the respiratory cells to enter the respiratory cells, not the uh, other kind, liver cells for example. Yes. It just have the correct kind of keys. The second one is the Ebola virus, it is a very famous virus and it has RNA, not even DNA. And it has a special gene in it to, trans, uh, to turn RNA to DNA yes. and then add it to the, the cell's DNA's backside and then make it produced. And uh, I don't know if you know, Ebola is a very famous virus and it is very dangerous because <coughs> it targets the immune cells and the liver cells this time. Not the respiratory cells, but the liver cells. So how it, uh, it recognizes on the yes. first plane uh, which cells are uh, liver cells targets, and yes, yes uh, which cells are the target? And it is Ebola, miracle. Ebola is a very serious uh, virus, serious diseases it causes. Uh, it is uh, also the assumed that it has been first appeared in the pig. Yes. And then it transmitted to the people through air, to the other animals, and very then to dangerous. people through air. It is very serious disease, and um, it can cause death very easily. And the third one, the other picture, it's the well-known HIV virus, human immune deficiency virus. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, everybody knows what HIV does to people. It generally targets the immune cells, yes. and then it causes generally death. To, there are many people in the world suffering from its diseases. And the fourth uh, picture is the influenza A virus. And this is the uh, bird flu, you remember maybe. Mm -hmm. yes. This is the one, this was very famous uh, recently. And it has, the, it has been causing some respiratory diseases and different kind of diseases in birds and also some of the mammals and also in human. It's uh, some kind of it cause it. Fifth one is the uh, rotavirus, you see, and an E. coli bacteria with it. The tiny orange ones are the viruses. And it can cause uh, diarrhea among infants and young children. And uh, it is very amazing that by the age of five, there is no one generally in the world that don't have this rotavirus. We generally, everybody has been met with rotavirus. And uh, the sixth one is the SARS uh, coronavirus. And SARS is also a very yeah, serious yeah, disease. It has been very famil uh, famous recently. Yes. It causes the severe acute uh, respiratory syndrome, something like that. And it has been um, called by the scientists as the 
unprecedented speed, that it has an unprecedented speed. What does it mean? It is something that was not expected from a virus to spread to have the speed this fast. Because when it occurs to someone, first of all, it causes headaches or something like that. But in two to ten days, mm -hmm. it can cause coma, it can cause uh, some kind of dyspnea and also pneumonia. And uh, it can kill people yes. very easily. And we have talked about these beautiful killers. They are very beautiful. They look amazing. They have wonderful structures, appearance, shapes. But when we look at them, we cannot even see them. Yes. But when we think about it, Allah creates these creatures for us to think. We are so weak that we cannot stand against only a small virus. It can kill, kill in days, yes. in maybe hours, if you don't have the uh, medicines or other things. So this is something that we should think deeply. These viruses, they don't have any knowledge. They don't have any intelligence normally. They don't mm -hmm. have consciousness, but they have the wisdom. The Allah gave them the wisdom to act and they don't do anything by themselves because they show a intelligence or uh, they are so clever, Yes. more clever than men. And uh, here is another miracle of uh, the creation of Allah. Mashallah. Allah creates, uh, mashallah, everything so beautiful as you said. Mashallah. Even uh, the thing there is not uh, visible without, uh, with naked eye. Uh, we know viruses we can see only with a microscope. So even these little things, uh, these little uh, organisms are uh, with amazing appearance. Yes, mashallah. mashallah. Allah creates everything amazingly, everything with a golden ratio. Uh, maybe this uh, will be our topic in uh, next programs, inshallah. Uh, it is um, really a, a great miracle that Allah creates everything with golden ratio and uh, so beautifully. And that is a fact that Allah says uh, in the Quran, inshallah, that he made uh, everything beautifully, mashallah. created everything beautifully, mashallah. mashallah. And uh, uh, one another thing I want to say is that um, as you said Allah creates viruses but uh, he also creates the cure Mashallah. so uh, somebody uh, can say uh, why then Allah creates these viruses and then creates the cure uh, the miracle here is that Allah wants us uh, to uh, think about them uh, Allah wants us to uh, see the miracle the big creation in uh, these organisms because when we see them, when uh, we uh, learn about uh, these wonderful features that you uh, talk about, uh, we know better Allah and uh, we love more and more Allah, mashallah, and fear more uh, from Allah, inshallah. Yes. So uh, there is uh, wisdom in everything that Allah creates, yes. mashallah. mashallah. Also it is stated in the verses that Allah gives the cure for the disease. Yes. Yes, mashallah. And mashallah, and it is something that we should be blessed. We should be always be thankful yeah. to Allah for that, because uh, it would be impossible for us to survive any kind of yeah. thing. The disasters, the earthquakes, and everything can be against us, if, because the human structure is very weak. This yes. is just flesh, but it is unnecessary yes. to have the proud of being human, because we don't have the power for uh, over anything, even yes. over ourselves. Yes. We cannot control our body, yes. but we can be only be proud to be thankful to Allah. Yes. If we love Allah, if we feel the uh, Allah's power, if we feel the fear of Allah, then we will be valuable. Yes, inshallah. And uh, as you said, these diseases show the power of Allah, alhamdulillah. But also these cures show us the mercy of Allah on uh, all yes, of us, of alhamdulillah. Yes, and also we, uh, you mentioned Dolunay that the viruses actually doesn't know the inside of the cells because uh, they all uh, completely have the different structures. But somehow they act like they, uh, the cell is their hometown and know where to yes. go at, uh, in, at the first place. And this is also just because Allah created the virus and the cell uh, and all of them is the creation of Allah. So Allah uh, let them go to the uh, center yes. of the cell at the first place, mashallah. In the Quran, Allah says that, uh, I seek refuge with Allah from a cursed Satan. Does he who created not then know? And he is all pervading and all aware. So Allah knows every cell of each of us, alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. 